let's look at how to use tuples in Python. So first of all, we have a Python interpreter, and we want to create some tuples and play around with them. So a tuple is typically assigned by using parentheses, and you do one, two, three, and then inside of this parentheses, you have a series of values, and you create it. And you can say, well, that looks nice, but how is that different from a list? Because you could have B be a list, and you have square brackets, one, two, three, close square bracket, and they look very similar. In fact, you can address them similarly as well. So if you say A zero, it has a value of one, and B of zero, it also has a value of one. So they are addressed the same way. However, there is a big difference. The difference is that with a list, I can add something, modify it because it is mutable, but the tuple is immutable. So if I say a append for, it says that it can't. However, if I were to do b append for, it does append it. Now you can convert between lists and tuples. So we do type a, you can see, oops, type a, you can see that it is a tuple. And I can convert it by saying a equals list, and then pass in a, and so now it becomes a list. So I can do type a, and it is now a list. At this point, I can add things to it, remove things, and work with it that way. But let's get back to a tuple again. So say a equals tuple of a, and get it back to a tuple again. So tuples are immutable. Um, they work kind of like lists, except you can't add to them or remove from them, which is really good for using them in cases where you don't want to make modifications. So if you have a list of information, so you can say C equals, and you have some person thing, you say maybe the ID number is one, two, three, and their name is uh, Alice, and maybe they have some information about them. You can put that together into a tuple, and that kind of makes them kind of a fixed object. Now, one thing to remember is that even though a tuple is not editable because it's immutable, you can modify the contents in it. So if I say I have this list of people and my people list is uh, like there you can say well okay d of zero is the word people and d of the second element or element number one is this list and so i can modify that d one uh, and use append one you can see it been it's been added and then d two or one append to number like five and then if i were to display what's inside of d now you can see that it is still this object right here which is a string and it has this object which is a list but the list has elements have been added to it, so you can modify the contents of the contents of a, of a tuple, but not the actual contents of the tuple itself. So just keep that in mind. Um, deep modification is possible. If I wanted to select just portions of the tuple, if I go back to my tuple A, you can see it's one, two, three. I can do A zero, which is the first element. I could also do A colon or zero colon one, which indicates just the first one, or I can do a zero colon two, which is the first two objects right here, or I can do a one colon two, which you can see is from the element number one up to 
just right before two. So that means just the number two. So you can select individual slices of this tuple and you can play with that and figure out how you want to work with that. But this gives you a general idea of how to work with tuples.